y'all. What's up? This is me, Alex. And we are excited to be back. And I actually hope that y'all enjoy the Smart Mouth cartoon. But part two is coming up in a minute. Why do you always want to start the show without me? I think you're getting paid more than me. I need to look at our contracts. You can look at what you want to look at. I'm just doing my job. Like you need to be doing yours. I would if you just stop yap, yap, yapping. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. I know y'all excited. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Story, Story on Robinson. Robinson. Production team and the crew. Story I love to all y'all and thank y'all for helping me make my dream come true. To the production team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo-wee, y'all. <sighs> Welcome back to the Story Yard Robinson Show right here on YouTube, Queers, and Messy News. We're going to get to that later. Hey, y'all. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope everybody been doing well, safe, productive, wherever you are in this world. I truly mean it. I've missed y'all. Did you miss me? <laughs> well, I y'all I'm back, and it's good to be back. Hey, studio. <laughs> anyway, I just came back because I had some powerful things and messages that I want to share with y'all. And the first one is, do y'all know the power of being grateful? How many of you really know that? The power of being grateful is amazing, amazing energy and a power in itself because when you've gone through your life and you've been on your journey and we know those of us you know who've lived that life know that the journey hasn't always been easy no no journey ever is but when you get to a place where everything is okay because you, you must know that sometimes our own minds can drive us insane. <laughs> Sometimes it be our own minds that will drive us insane. And I say that to say this, when you learn to be accepting and appreciative of how your life is now, then doors, more doors will open up for you. Not just financially, it's good, good doors will open upon you, unto you, I'm sorry. And it starts with a simple thing. And that's the power of saying, thank you. Thanks. No. I know, you know, I may be a little weird or a little eccentric, but I say thank you to everything. I say thank you to water. When I drink it, I say thank you to the food as I eat it. I say thank you to my devices as I use them. 
Because if you think about it, it's the, those little things in life, those inanimate objects that give us, that are tools of daily life. The power of eating, to be able to eat, you know, the power of waking up, that's thanks, that's gratitude. That is some gratitude. So I just want to share that with y'all real quick. And I'm back, I'm back, and I'm thankful. And I'll be. Hey y'all, what's going on? Now, I want to talk a little bit about somebody who's in the news for doing some crazy ass mess. We have always known that Kanye West was a little nutty. We've always known. Stop playing. This man has took it too far. Too far for comfort. He said, and I quote, I want to go DevCon 3 on all Jewish people. Yeah, he said that. He said that. He said some other crazy, racist, outdated, just some bad, bad things. I'm sure you've heard about it by now. It's not cool. And I, you know, he, I, you know, I, I know he mentally ill. We all know this, so it ain't, it's no denying it. But the way he's moving these days is, is really concerning. You know, Kanye. Adidas and a lot of companies have discontinued their partnerships. Y'all know the Yeezy shoes from Adidas, you know, that brand, that ex them expensive shoes. They have cut ties with him. And corporations in Hollywood are calling for people to board, to boycott his music and his stuff and his entire brand. In Chicago, they have painted over murals, painted murals of him. Oh! His school, in which he named after his mother, Donda, is, they say on oh, it's a cease and desist today. Oh. Like, okay, the, the, the school is just closed down. Like, students get out. Oh. Um, teachers, y'all, y'all need to get out of here. It's nothing happening. Forbes, y'all know Forbes is the big analyst. They put out a statement that said, Kanye West is no longer a part of our big that club list. Oh. Cause you know, um, it's, it's from Forbes, we know who the richest people are. He's off there, cause they say within a matter of 24 hours, he went from having, I think, what, $2.3 billion? to $400 million. Oh! That's a big drop. Now, those of us who are um, on the lower end of that spectrum, like, okay, well, he's still set. <laughs> he's still set, but it's just the audacity of this arrogance to think that there'll be no consequences of that mess he said. Kanye, I do not agree. With what you said, I'm speaking directly to you. I think you need to seek help. And somebody else want to say something about him too. Take a look. You know what? I ain't going to even waste my time with this fool. So I really ain't got nothing to say. Hey, brother. What y'all still talking about that Kanye West mess? I ain't about to talk about that fool. Moving on. Moving on. Well, I guess we ain't gonna talk about that fool then. Here's Storyon. Hey, 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 welcome back to the Storyon Show. All right, bring y'all a little distressing news. U.S. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Miss Nancy Pelosi's husband 
Paul Pelosi has was attacked by somebody who broke in their house, Aww. screaming, "Where's Nancy? Where's Nancy?" That's right. Somebody broke into them people's house. Somebody named David broke into them people's house and attacked this lady husband, looking for her. And the question is, well, why was there no security? Why was there no bodyguards there at the, the speaker's house? Well, she was in Washington and her security detail was there with her. But still, this man went in that house this, the, he allegedly did, the suspect, went in the house and hit that old man with a hammer. Aww. With a hammer. That is horrible. That is horrible. Is this where we are now? Is the political divide so divided that this is where we are? I have never witnessed in my lifetime the things that we see and hear and read about and research and report I've never seen these kind of things happening here in this time where I mean you know Democrats Republicans Independents they're going to always argue they have they have done this this way before that mean they call it a party this party don't like that part we get it we get it we get it but it's becoming so extreme And so terrified. And I'm not gonna get into all that because y'all know I try not to get political. I try not to get political. Okay. I try not to be political. But it, it, some things take me there. So I just wanna say, Mr. Pelosi, I wish you a speedy, speedy recovery. Because they say that he's going that she he should make a full recovery. But they also say that he only with um Skull surgery, some kind of surgery, cranial, you know. So, and even um, the Republicans and Democrats, they kind of coming together on this, you know, with both sides reached across the aisle to like to wish him condolences because it's one thing to be Democrat, Republican, and then you you argue and fight and all that, but it's, when it's going to personally cause um, the Democrats and the Republicans um after hours know each other and, it, and most of them get along. It just ain't work. They don't like each other, but most of them know each other. So anyway, Mr. Pelosi, I wish you a speedy, speedy recovery. And we'll be right back. The suspect in the attack of Paul Pelosi has been confirmed to be a 42-year-old right-wing extremist who spread 2020 conspiracy theories, COVID disinformation, and hatred of the January 6th committee. Per NBC News, the assailant who attacked Paul Pelosi was in search of the Speaker of the House. And before the assault occurred, the intruder confronted Mr. Pelosi in their home shouting, Where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? Now, where have I heard that before? Where are you, Nancy? We're looking for you! It's been reported that the suspect was trying to tie up Paul Pelosi until quote unquote Nancy got home. And the Republican reaction? Well, they don't give a damn. This was RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel right after the attack occurred, going on as if it were business as usual. <laughs> and here's Republican Senate. You know, it feels as though there's a lot, lot, lot of wrong things happening in today's world that we live in. Everything is not the same. And I don't like it. I don't like the direction it's going in. I just simply don't like it. Well, hi, young man. How are you doing today? I'm trying to feel better about the state of the world and where it's at. Are you doing all that while you're waiting for the bus? No matter where I go, it seems like the problems and the issues of the world is still here. Well, dear, there's an old saying, and it says, whatever will be, will be so the thing you need to learn is 
You can't control everything. What's going to happen in life is what's going to happen in life. Focus on your journey. Thanks for the advice, Mother Nature. You got it, Kid Kun Kun. Hey, 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 y'all. Thank you for watching the Story on Show. Boom. Um, Prince Harry. Y'all know Prince Harry of the United Kingdom. Took me a while because he ain't been over there in so long, so I ain't about to say a miracle. But um, Prince Harry is coming out with a book, y'all. Oh, and they scared. They are scared over there. I'm sure at the palace. It's called Spare. It's called Spare. I don't think he's going to spare nobody. And um, so we always wanted to know a little more about the rules than we have been led to believe. Let me tell you why. Because people write all kinds of stories about them royal insiders and sources and everything, but we never directly hear from them. And so for the prince to, and this, this never happened, for him to write his own story, his own truth, I'm all for that. I'm all for that prince. Head. I'm all for it, I'm all for it, and I cannot read it and report about it because you know I got something to say. We all remember, well, those of you should remember, in 1997, that image of two princes, two little princes, um, William and Harry, walking behind their mother's casket, Princess Diana. And certain images just sticks in the mind. And so every time I see them, and I've been watching them grow up, and you know, she's like a little tugging at my heart. So, and I know it's been drama through the year between the royals and then his wife, um, Megan, Meghan Markle. I'm gonna reserve my opinion for, <laughs> um, for messing news, Megan. But I'm gonna get to you. Anyway, and the rift between the brothers, and you all, as we all know, and I'm sorry I'm a little late, but you know, um, Queen Elizabeth has passed. <sighs> Long lived queen. I mean, I mean, she's a good queen. But, safe journey. Anyway, but so I'm, I'm ready to read this book. I'm ready to read this book because I'm ready to read it so. Coming soon in January is Prince Harry's book, Spare. And they say he ain't gonna spare nobody. Hey, y'all know it's that time of year. It is all Hallow's Eve, Halloween. <laughs> That's right, y'all. It is trick or treat time. Trick or treat time. It's trick or treat time. Y'all know this that time of year. All Hallow's Eve. I don't know why I like the vibe of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It ain't got nothing to do with no religion and, and all the, all that kind of stuff. It's the whole vibe of it. Matter of fact, maybe I just like um, orange and black. Anyway, I just want y'all to know for those who go on trick or treat, you know that y'all be safe out there. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe out there and enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. So much so I just want to tell you all tell you about this movie that um I watched and I waited almost 30 years to watch it for, for the part two. For the part two. Hocus Pocus 2 has been released on Disney Plus right now. It's, it's right now, right now. For those of you who were fans of the original Hocus Pocus with Beth Miller, um, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Catherine the Jimmy. That's right. I found uh, this on the web. I haven't asked you nothing, Sarah. Uh, but they were um, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary Sanderson. 
and that's the song you know they did remix so I put a spell I put a spell on you um, but the, it, it, the movie was so so great and it was it's, it's, it's a Disney movie <laughs> okay so calm down it's, it's a Disney movie so it ain't probably what some of y'all probably thinking but it's a Disney movie but anyway they have finally made a part two and I was so excited because I've been a fan of Bette Miller forever now I ain't too much watch sets in the city for Sarah Jessica Parker but I've been a fan of Kathleen Jimmy since she's in um, Sister Act and this is something else. Well, whatever she was in. But I, I've been a, um, a, a, fan, a fan of hers for a long time, too. And so, but when they told me they was making a part two to that movie, I was like so excited, so excited, so excited. Now, I can't really show y'all trailers and clips because, you know, last time I did that, you know, they told me I couldn't do that. So, <laughs> but I will give you a clip of one of the show's stars. Miss Sarah Jessica Parker talk about her excitement and her gratitude for being back with the Samson sisters. But check out um Oka Spokes 2 on Disney Plus. Happy Halloween. touching things so I thank you for allowing us to be part of your life in such a meaningful way and for welcoming us back it's just um, it means the world to all of us so thank you and I hope you enjoy this one Y'all, 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 y'all got to come check me out. Y'all got to come check me out. There's a couple of things, chicken wings, that's taking place and that y'all need to know about. The first person is called, I have podcast, y'all. That's right, I have a podcast that's out right now on Spotify and Anchor. Anchor.fm or the Anchor app. Yes. It's called The Mess with Story on It's right, it's hot already on Spotify, but you can catch it on Queers and you can catch it on Mess News, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But on my podcast, I feel like I can say more things I can say right here on this platform. You know, for all kinds of reasons. I'm trying to keep it kosher. But um, the podcast, I, I must unfilter it. And I say what I... I mean, I say what I want here, but on the podcast, I'm going to say what I fully want. Unfiltered, uncensored, I don't care. <laughs> so check me out, The Mess with Story on Robinson on Spotify and Anchor right now. That's not all. Speaking of mess. Okay, I know a few shows back, I announced that I was closing down, that I closed down SCN Story on Central News to StoryOn.com. The news organization. Yep, I closed it down. But that didn't sit right with me. That is not sit right with me. That didn't sit right with me at all. <laughs> Cause I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist at heart. I got many titles, but a journalist one. Cause I'm a news junkie. Okay. And so I'm excited to announce that we have revamped. And it wasn't just me. It actually, wasn't my idea to bring it back. <laughs> you know who you are. But um, we are revamped it, and it is called Messy News. That's right. The Messy News Media. At still storyon.com. Two N's. That's S T O R I O N N.com. That's right. Over there, y'all got the, the regular news and everything, but on that, we, we, we report the news in our way. Okay? We report the news the real way. <laughs> we just don't take the fluff that we get from everywhere. Telling the same story. It may get the same story from us, but we're gonna tell it how, how we really see it. I can't say too much over here because this, this is what this is. But so go to Messy News at Storyon.com. That's S-T-O-R-I-O-N-N.com. And you, <laughs> you will see what I'm talking 
Oh God, and I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, and I love you, and I'll be right back. My take on creamy chicken and potatoes. Look at that seasoning. A quick meal for me and Nana. We don't eat. We don't eat chicken. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna have for dessert here? Coming up right now, and y'all gonna need something snuggled up to wear. I am excited to announce that the quiz store is finally have released our fall collection. That's right, that's right. The, quiz store. the fall collection is out, y'all. And oh, y'all see what I got on? This is from the store. This is from the store. This, 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 this is from the quiz store. And so what we got uh, is nice dresses, uh, blouse, is um, men's clothing. Um, the D square pants we got them. We got them. We got them. We, got them. we do. We partner with them. Um, black jackets, shoes. Uh, we even got the home appliance aisle. You know, for the for the um, the tools and fuses that you need to need around your kitchen. But we got a home uh, collection. Yes, it's fine. We got that. But coming soon, we we, we bring it back. The, the precious tots session. You know, we had a, a children's section in there, but uh, I took it out. I don't know why. Y'all stop letting me do stuff. But I took it out, but you know, we, we, we're bringing it back, you know, and I'm um, coming with some huge, huge, huge deals. And matter of fact, everything on the, at the store right now will be half off on your order if you just put S-T-O-R-I-O-N-N -N -N in the promo box as you check out. I ain't gonna need to say it no more. Rewind this back because I don't want to get to you, but I'm gonna give you this chance to get it. <laughs> but go to the quizstore.com honey and see the fall selection that's available right now. Matter of fact, take a look at the commercial.
we're gonna talk about a little bit about the power of letting go. Sometimes, you know, we hold on to things from long ago, from current, meaning the present. And sometimes, if we could just take ourselves out of ourselves and look at ourselves, nobody else, but look at ourselves and realize some stuff that we got going on with us now, whether it be good or bad, but let's, let's focus on the negative, is a product of us not letting go. You can't live your life holding on to pain, trauma, because it's not healthy. Now, I did not say it was easy to get rid of. I never said that, so don't quote me because I'm not a psychiatrist. And I will recommend those of you who need to see what, go do so. But I'm talking about petty stuff. It's the small stuff that we hold on to. That we know we can let go, but we choose not to. Oh yes, now that part's a choice. You can choose to hold on to some steadiness that can be resolved and done with. Or you can choose to, to let up, manifest. Because somebody once said sometimes, be a man or woman, being a bitch is the only thing we gotta hold on to sometimes. Sometimes just being a bitch is the only thing we gotta hold on to. Be a man or woman. But if you can release that inner hope and <laughs> just let it go. Not for them. Not for him. Not for y'all back there. For yourself. Because you will never grow if you don't really hit it. Can I get it to me? Can you get it to me? I say, you will you can never let it grow. If you don't let it go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And that's all. I want to thank y'all for watching. The story on Robinson Show. Thank you. You can find this show, as you know, on Queers. Catch the Mess with Story on podcast of mine on Spotify and Anchor. Yes, yes, yes. Go get you some casual wear. From the Queer Star. The fall selection, like I said, is available right now. And for some hot news topics, for some, for some unfiltered news, cause y'all, as y'all hear me talking through this whole thing, y'all know I am filtering and censoring myself. You can hear it all in my mouth. <laughs> on purpose. Don't think this is how I talk, I'm just censoring myself. That's why I'm talking in syllables, okay? But go to Miss News and you get it unfiltered. I'm trying to tell them. Go to Miss News and you get the unfiltered version. You know, forget them syllables. I'm gonna just talk like this. At storyon.com. And thank you. Thank you for coming on this journey with me again. I'll see you next time. Starion Robinson Show. We're out.